next race is going to be race 24. Championships, warming up a little bit. How'd you like the race? What were you doing? Um, I definitely knew that I'd have two girls to kind of run with out there. Um, I ran this course last year, but I didn't really get a good feel for it because it was covered in mud. But I definitely like it. I think people get intimidated by the uphill right at the start, but there's so many other downhills in it, kind of evens out. So last year you slipped and fell. It was all muddy and rainy. Just a bad year for you. This yeah. Year you come back and win it. Incredible time. This was your redemption race. Was that your goal heading into it? Yeah, for sure. Um, I definitely knew that I had a good shot at winning it, but it was nice to do it and kind of redeem myself from last year. Heading into Mount Sac next week, how are you using this race and maybe maybe prior prior races of the season, kind of get ready for that and a lot of postseason stuff. So going to be difficult. Um, we've done a lot of hills, kind of at practice. And I felt good running on this course. I know it doesn't do Mount Sac justice, mm -hmm. but um, I definitely like Mount Sac. It's one of my favorite courses. Why is that? I think I'm good at running on the downhills. Like I can maintain on the uphills, but then kind of really let it go downhill. Now that we're pretty much halfway through season, how much has your training differed? Um, it really hasn't differed too much. We kind of. Um, did more hills definitely in the beginning of the season and now in practices we're kind of doing just speed stuff on the track and then our long runs have gotten a little shorter but nothing really has changed too much. What's your, what's your still your biggest goal heading in the rest of the season besides like making it to state or something so much miles? Um, kind of just to obviously make it the same races but just look at my times and my strategies from last year and kind of improve on them. Just get faster with each race, I guess.